Establishing marketing goals is critical to the success of your Pinterest marketing. Countless entrepreneurs and businesses have set up a Pinterest presence, made a few posts, and then let it sit untouched for months or even years. This is usually due to a lack or absence of goals. So, before you even begin establishing any sort of Pinterest presence strategy, you need to establish clear marketing goals. Your goals should be specific, measurable, and attainable. They can be long-term, short-term, or a mix of both. Deadlines and milestones can be helpful as well. I want to increase my social following would be an example of a bad goal that will likely result in your marketing efforts petering out after a while because there's no specific milestones. I want to gain 1,000 likes by Christmas is an example of a good goal. It's specific, measurable, and certainly attainable. Below are some examples of the various goal categories you might be interested in for Pinterest. First up, traffic to website. And here we're talking about sales, leads, or content marketing. Probably one of the most popular goals of Pinterest marketing is to funnel your Pinterest traffic back to your own web properties. After all, most businesses don't do business on Pinterest per se. You're leveraging Pinterest to obtain traffic and convert that Pinterest traffic into brand followers, leads, prospects, and customers. So maybe your goal is to get people to a landing page with a free offer where they can subscribe to your list and become a lead. Maybe they're being sent to a sales page or an e-commerce store. Maybe you just want to do some content marketing and send them to your blog. Whatever the case, the end goal for a lot of businesses will likely be bringing Pinterest traffic away from Pinterest and over to their own web properties. Next up, there's social following, or Pinterest as autoresponder. In this goal category, your aim is to build a large number of followers. The reason we also refer to this as Pinterest as autoresponder is because the main sought after benefit here is to increase the number of people who will see your pins in their home feeds. In this sense, your Pinterest posts become similar to sending out email broadcasts via your autoresponder. If you grow a large enough community, this can be very beneficial and turn into a huge source of free organic traffic for your business. Next, passive presence. Some businesses might have purely passive goals. Simply being present and discoverable inside of Pinterest is a benefit that has wider appeal and greater utility than you may think. In many cases, a company's Pinterest presence might supersede or even totally replace what was once the role of a blog. Your business's name, logo, a short intro statement, and a link to your website can be found on your Pinterest profile. And depending on your audience, that might be where people are most likely to seek you out rather than your website. Much like a blog, people can see your boards and recent pins. This same approach can also be used for events, communities, and brands. Next up, brand awareness. Another goal that's less thought about might be spreading brand awareness and recognition. If you're just starting out, there's a good chance your brand might be in need of a jump start. If nobody's ever heard of you, a great way to increase recognition is to simply pin and share unique, helpful, or entertaining content and get your name, logo, and overall brand identity in front of as many people as possible, as many times as possible. If this is your goal, you want to avoid being salesy in the beginning. Ensure you're focused almost entirely on posting helpful, relevant, or entertaining content. Next, there's expanding existing audiences. If you've already got an audience, your goal might be to make it bigger. This can be done via several social marketing methods. Pinning or repinning viral content, either curated or created by yourself, can lead to a huge increase in your Pinterest audience. Although creating your own viral content can be great, if you don't have time or the means to do so, you can simply leverage existing content that's already proven itself to be viral by curating or resharing it with your own comments or angle added to it. Also, a few humorous images and memes can't hurt either. Other ways to expand existing audiences can include contests, sweepstakes, and gamification. Assuming your offers and prizes are compelling enough, incentivized sharing can be very effective. Just ensure your methods are permitted by Pinterest's terms of service. After that, there's enhancing or repairing PR. This is a goal that any business can engage in. Non-sales related PR campaigns can include pinning photos or videos that foster positive value and goodwill, or even involvement in noble causes or social movements. On that last one though, be careful not to alienate half your prospects if the movement is too political or ideological. Did your business recently donate to a charity or build a school in a third world country? Serve food at a local pantry? These are all things to pin about. These don't necessarily need to be about things that your business participated in. They can be content about general things like a heartwarming video about helping the poor or caring for the elderly. Special holidays like Christmas, Thanksgiving, or Mother's Day also present opportunities to leverage emotions, foster goodwill, and enhance your public relations. If necessary, PR repair can be done as well. If your business recently had a mishap or did something that caused negative PR, a campaign of PR enhancement like described above 
can work wonders in improving your public image. Last but not least, there's market research. This is a hugely beneficial goal of Pinterest marketing. If you're just starting your business or going down a new path, Pinterest can be an excellent place to learn more about your audience and your market. This can be done in a structured way by pinning to things like surveys and questionnaires, or in a less structured way by simply engaging with your audience, commenting, asking questions, and so on. Also, lurking or conversing in Pinterest boards related to your industry can teach you a ton about what your customers want and who they are. Beyond that, you can monitor your competitors' profiles and boards to see what their customers like and what they're complaining about, so you can adjust your business accordingly. Creating your own board and engaging within it is another great way to get a constant stream of market and audience data flowing into your business. Ultimately, your goal should be to come up with one or two ideal customer avatars that you can then base your marketing and product development on. All the goals you've learned about in this section require some sort of presence on Pinterest. So let's discuss how to start building that presence.